Okay, thank you for um for taking some time to talk to me. So, so you um you busy at the moment? Are you rehearsing for coming out here, or working on any other projects? Well, uh, uh, right now, uh, uh, the thing is just trying to start out some songs for a new record. Right. Uh, and you've got a fair, fair number of them written, or maybe half. Right. So, in in a similar vein to the last album, or uh, like no, uh, let me. Uh, 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 they're more acoustically orientated this time. Right, right. So, um, so I, I, and thoughts of a producer. I mean, I thought that um, that Don Was did a a pretty magnificent job on the last record. I mean, do you he did do he did do good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he's not going to be doing this one, but uh, he maybe might come back and do one after that. Mm hmm. So, any any thoughts of, of someone you'd like to to collaborate with for, for the next one? For uh, a producer? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you've well, you know, it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to find a producer, you know, that knows 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 uh, uh, you know, you have to find someone you can really kind of uh, agree with their decisions, you know. Right. Kind of, you know. Yeah, well, you, you've done pretty well with the last two. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, thanks. You're on a good run. you're on a good run. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I, from what I've heard about, like. The, the tour that you're doing. I mean, I've, I've been intrigued to to hear some of the the, the versions that you've been doing. Things like Pancho and Lefty and so forth. I mean, do they happen most nights in the show? Oh no, no, no. Once in a while something like that will happen, but that's not uh, you know that, that's unlikely to happen every night. Right. So, so is that a version you're fond of from from Towns Van Zandt's version or, or uh, Willie's? Willie's version? Where did you hear that? If you don't mind me asking. I haven't even heard it. Someone just told me that that, that it'd been. Oh. Out. Oh yeah, uh, and, and I loved him, uh, so I thought, hey, this is all right. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, Towns writes real good songs, you know. Mm. He's got a lot more of this too. Right. So, so th th this tour, I mean, I think even you're now, re you know, referring to it as a, as a never-ending tour. Did did it actually start off like that? Or? No, it wasn't. Uh, this is just a pattern, a, my pattern over the past three or four years to play a hundred times, at least a hundred times a year. Maybe a little more, maybe a little bit less. It just works out better for me because then you, th th then it's it's not necessary to be looking for a band all the time. Mm -hmm. Right. You know that's the advantage of just going out to play. If 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 you're only going out once in a while, then uh, you know you have a problem trying to find a band and then trying to find people who aren't playing with somebody else at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just. Um, in the long run, it's better just to go out and do the shows. Or either you're playing, you know, either either it's happening like that or or not. Mm-hmm. So, so but, uh, well, we're doing a, a certain amount of shows in Australia this year. We, uh, my shows usually um, about a quarter of them happen outside of America, so uh, that'll be you know uh, the Australian dates are, are will be uh, end up to us just uh, you know a certain part of of the the year. Right. The yearly schedule. Right. So, so do, do you like? You obviously like playing the small venues because you know, obviously, logistically, you could come out and you could, you know, kill all of Sydney off in one night <laughs> instead of exactly. Playing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah this, you, you know, the sound is easier to control too, mm. and and, uh, and it's not so much circus, you know. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, I think you know the response here has been people are really excited about you know seeing you in you know a relatively small place as opposed to. Um, you know, a big, a big sort of auditorium. So. Exactly. Yeah. Is there, uh, the other sort of rumor that I've heard is, is that you've been rehearsing with a with a pedal steel player for for these dates. Is that any truth? Well, it, yeah, it was necessary this year to add somebody to my band, and uh, uh, um, if everything could be sorted out, um, my feeling is a steel player would be good for my band as a, you know as opposed to a keyboard guy at this time. Yeah. Or, or whatever else you know. And anyone in mind? Or? Well, uh, someone has, uh, has agreed to, to, to play with me for a while. Uh, uh, who's, who used to play in a band that was on, on the same bill as me a few years ago, and he's already played with me because he used to play with me uh, once in a while during during my segments of those shows. Yeah. Uh, so he sort of knows my stuff, you know, rather than having somebody walking in cold that would have to learn a lot of it. Right. So, so are the, are the players you've got with you at the moment having having sort of a fair input in 
instead of, I guess, rearranging the songs, because I mean, I, I would imagine no, no, no. you're getting pretty bored with a lot, you know, a lot of the earlier songs that people, you know, expect to hear. You know, even though people, I prefer to be hearing all the new songs. And um, you know, do, do you, are you messing around with them a bit just to keep them interesting to yourself? Uh, my own songs are my own songs are always interesting for me. Yeah. Uh, um, the, the, my, being kind of a performer like myself, who's been around a while, it's difficult to, to play everything everybody wants to hear, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, it's usually sorted out beforehand, you know, right. uh, what to play on that particular night. But uh, um, this band now has been with me, uh, they played with me uh, last year. My band has been pretty consistent for three or four years with just a different, a different person dropping out and someone else taking their place, you know. Right. That sort of happened kind of effortlessly. Mm -hmm. I heard something about you. You hopped up on stage with Kinky Friedman somewhere during the during the last year or so. Kinky, yeah, yeah Kinky. Maybe at the Lone Star somewhere. Yeah, he came. He's trying to. He's trying to. Uh, or he's. Uh, he's gonna. He's trying to be in a TV series or something. <laughs> and the, 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 the character that he plays in real life. <laughs> Have you read his books? Have you read the crime novel? Yes, they're very funny, aren't they? They're great. I actually brought him out here for a tour last year, and it was—he was just—he's um, just so funny, you know. I mean, he doesn't. Yeah. You go. So um, yeah. So what? What? He, so is the TV series based on 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 the crime book? Um, yeah, on him. He, he, uh, on him. It's his. It's it's him. Prime time. <laughs> Kinky. Cowboy hat and everything. <laughs> Kinky, I'm trapped. <laughs> so just, um, you know, th this year has been sort of a, a pretty notable one for you in terms of also recognition of what you've done, like the award in France and so forth. I mean, it, it, that sounded like something you really took seriously as opposed to, you know, the, the usual sort of accolades, you know, accolades sort of, you know, that have come over. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that was a heavy thing being given an award by a French government, you know, especially mm -hmm. in the area of uh, creative creativity, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, of the... The Frenchman influence in my own stuff. Yeah, right. So, so the um, the, the series of, of dreams video too, which I which I thought was was you know astonishing. I mean, did did you have any input into that, or was it just sort of someone who? No, no. Uh, 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 my input on that wasn't really very much. Right, right. Um, and also um, the um, d just with this tour, I mean, is it exciting for you to you know to, to play you know Argentina and Uruguay and, and all of those places that? I was actually surprised to find you hadn't played, you know, over over the years. Uh -huh. Yeah, Argentina. Uh, Ar uh, 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 you know, it's pretty, it's pretty dusty down there. But uh, Brazil, had, had, uh, Brazil was the same two times in a row, and it's okay to, you know, it's it, it, it's 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 a different scene with the, you know, you never know really. It's kind of like makeshift sound almost. You're never really sure about the facilities you're playing in, you know, yeah. what can be heard because it, everything looks so funky, you know. But uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the you know the, the the people were very responsive, and it was uh, you know uh, it was relaxing being down there. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I also sort of heard that you know quite a significant moment for you was was actually going to to Dachau and, and actually visiting the, the you know the a concentration camp site and stuff. What was oh that? yeah, no one had ever taken to me me to one before. And, yeah. uh, someone took me to one. Yeah, last time uh, last time over there in Germany, somebody took me to one, mm -hmm. one of them concentration camps. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty spooky place. Yeah, I would yeah. imagine. Yeah. yeah. So and moving for you, I guess it would be. Yeah. Well, you can't help but be moved by seeing all the regalia they have in there, yeah. Right. Well, they've sort of tried to keep them as, you know, almost like, you know, sell you know, keep them as they were and so forth, do they? Or yeah, they look pretty much like, uh, like you, like whatever they were supposed to look like. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Monuments, you know, yeah. monuments to death. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That they were. Mm -hmm. So um. So it also it supports out here uh, yet another rumor, you know, was was that you'd actually asked for Yossi Yindi, who you know are the Aboriginal band that sort of made you know astonishing inroads here to, to play shows. No one has asked me any questions about anybody, you know, <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know. Uh, so whatever you've heard, uh, no one's really uh, got that from me. Right, right. So um, I mean, where does it go after Australia? Are you intending just to keep keep on, you know, keep on playing? Uh, 
from Australia, um, uh, uh, um, it seems to me like uh, my, uh, my shows move back towards America mm -hmm. by way of you know New Zealand or you know coming back mm -hmm. uh, this way. Right, and, yeah. then, and then you'll fit in the new recording, I guess, during that. Yeah, maybe like in the uh, spring. Right. Uh, in the spring, uh, in Chicago, uh -huh. uh, seems to be the place it's been picked out to do it. Right. So do you, do you find the songs are, are coming, you know, easier that you know these days, or is it is it real, you know, is it just? Well, they're coming natural if they come at all. Yeah. Uh, so um, when when it's not coming, uh, there's really no inclination on my part to make it happen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So so do you think you'll you'll play any of, the, of these songs uh, uh, during this time? No. Too? No, they're they're, they're just uh, they're not really structured yet to be played live. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. All right. Look, I, w I won't take up much more of your time. So I know, you know. Okay. Uh, just one other. Th you know, obviously, you, you're probably aware that you've re there's been a, a lot of comment about you out here because of, of that gypsy fire incident. I mean, is, is that? Oh yeah, she's still is she still around? She's oh, she, she's in the paper every second day. <laughs> 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 she she um uh, she first of all she. She, the, she was report, quoted in the paper as saying that, um, first of all, she rang the major radio station here asking if she could have free tickets, and they told her no. Um, and then I think she queued for tickets and then couldn't get good ones, so announced that it would be okay, Bob will give me tickets. And, oh, yeah. Oh, man. And she's still planning to write this book. I don't know if you've heard that. Uh, Poor girl, you know? I know. It's uh, all, a bit, all a bit miserable. Yeah. So have you looked at any of the books that have come out on you? You know, you know they they keep coming out. I mean, do you ever bother to check things? No, uh, not really. Mm -hmm. No, uh, uh, they seem to be like they come out. They come out pretty regular now. <laughs> so many of them. You know, so it's, you know, it's a, you know, it's a, uh, it's uh, you really don't. Uh, and it doesn't knock me out to read a book about myself, you know. Yeah, I guess there's better books, you know, or other books to be read yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You read anything interesting recently? Well, uh, my, uh, 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 my latest uh, book was, uh, it wasn't been a book that's been out for a long time, but, it, but my latest thing of just reading was, uh, was back into reading the William Blake poems again. Mm-hmm. It seems like when you're young and you read them, you know, they don't have the effect on you as when you get older. Right, right. So when, when would you have read them last? Because you, you did the recording. Oh, many. Yeah, you know. No, that was, that was, uh, uh, it was years ago, you yeah. know, when, uh, when, when it was, when there was, uh, uh, when there was time, you know, just to read, uh, all those guys. Yeah. Uh, but lately it's, uh, you know, it's been necessary for me to find some time to, Go back and reread some like Blake and Shelley, mm. Byron, you know some of those people. Hey, listen, you can say hi to this guy uh, Brett Whitley. Oh, Brett, yeah, 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 sure. And uh, you know, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, is he still out there painting? But he's he's very much still out there painting. Oh yeah, I mean he's he's you know in incredibly industrious. He seems like he's healthier than he has been for a real long time, and you know he's he's been he's been doing a, lo a lot of work. So, uh, right. and I was I had a conversation the other day with. Yeah. You've, you've obviously got a lot of fondness for for Whiteley's work. And, uh, yeah, he gave me some uh, he gave me some drawings the last time there, and uh, uh, they still look good to me. Mm hmm You've been doing any drawing yourself, or any any painting, or anything? Or I guess. Uh, you Random House is coming out with a book of my drawings probably before Christmas. Right. Right. So drawings, recent ones, or from from over there? Uh, no, they've been done over the last three years mm -hmm. on the road, mostly. Mm -hmm. So, you, so you you know you're still enjoying this, you know, being on the road and so you know. Does it get does it get well, where you think uh, you know you'd like to get back home? Well, uh, there comes a point uh, for everything, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, uh, you know, playing music is a full time job, you know. Right. It's hard to shut it and turn it off and on like a faucet. Yeah. Yeah. And especially, you know, with, with the number of records you've been making recently and so forth. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, look, I won't, you know, 
I could keep on just begging for us, but uh, I better let you go. So, um, okay. Thank you very much, Bob. And um, okay, sure. Yeah, I'll t I'll see you when okay. you when you get to Sydney. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.